What's up, guys? It's your boy Jaws here. Um, making a video, first video in a while, um, talking about the subject that you see in the title. It has to do with Minecraft, of course, and uh, Prison Server. Um, first off, um, what I want to tell you guys, to all of you that are watching this right now, thank you. Thank you very much for everything you guys have done for me and um, you guys had did for the Tech Geeks at one time. Uh, I really appreciate that. Um, another thing I do want to say right off the jump is I'm utterly sorry about the video quality. Um, this webcam I have is only 720p and <laughs> who does 720p anymore? Well, I do. Um, <clears throat> Because I don't do much with the webcam or anything like that. So, yeah. Anyways, guys. Uh, I need to address a few things today. I need to come clean. Um, I need to name drop today. <laughs> Believe it or not. Uh, you know, dropping bombs up in this bitch, right? Um, the first thing I want to address is the people out there who have supported Tech Geeks for so long. And Prison Tech in general and who are begging and dying for prison tech to come back um the real prison tech you know with like the real owner um one of the people who built it so to speak no copycats no nothing like that <clears throat> so first off i see you guys don't think i don't see you every day guys i mean this every day I am getting comments on my old YouTube videos, on my newest one, which was a Black Ops 3 review. I just felt like doing it. Um, on my social media, as in Twitter. Not so much Facebook. I try to keep that anonymous. But I am seeing these comments on a daily basis. When are you bringing Prison Tech back? Please bring Prison Tech back. Uh, someone just commented yesterday, um, please bring prison tech back. I'm tired of these shitty OP prisons. They're boring. And, um, I want the original back. <clears throat> I can tell you this right now. For the first time in months, I just talked to Antonio, AKA T Zenchful about it. And he said he's still dabbling in the Minecraft community, doing odd jobs here and there for different people. And he had said um, that there was no prison out there, even now, out there that was even remotely close to as awesome as what prison tech is. Now, I don't know. I haven't been in the Minecraft community since Tech Geeks died or was put to rest, whatever you want to say. So I have no idea. Um, I appreciate that, you know. Um, that's really awesome of him to say. Um, I have, you know, I could say, like I said, I haven't been in the Minecraft community <coughs> doing much, but, you know, my son is now really starting to get into Minecraft. And the other day, he's like, Dad, let's play together. This, And I was like, all right, cool. You know, well, I'll pick it up again. I didn't even have it installed. This was like a week ago, actually. I didn't even have it installed, so I installed it again. And, um, you know, I was like, what do you want to do? And he's like, what about your server? Can we go on there? And I said, you know, Johnny, Daddy don't have a server anymore, you know. Um, that's not around anymore. Of course, I have everything. I have everything that, uh, that Tech Geeks had. I have all of the files. I have all the builds. I have everything. Legit. Legit. But... You know, and he's like, well, can we go on a server like that? So, of course, I started browsing prison servers. Um, and I've seen, I, you know, I went to some of the ones that were, um, you know, popular. You know what I mean? More players in them. Um, so, I went to uh, Arkham. I went to their server for prison. And... Um, to be completely honest with you, and I'm not being biased at all, 
I was appalled. Um, you know, being the people who, being one of the people who really brought the prison aspect to Minecraft, we didn't originate it. You know, we, we didn't think of the idea first. We were the ones who brought it to the spotlight, like I always said. Some people agree, some disagree. The ones who disagree, in my opinion, are wrong, and there's facts to prove that. But being that being one of them people who were putting the pieces into place to make it so popular, I get offended when I go into these prison servers or prison servers and I just see these crappy builds put around mines. Some of them are utterly small. They have no detail whatsoever. <laughs> and Arkham was one of them. I mean, <clears throat> their blocks are named after superheroes. Okay, that's cool. But the detail sucked, honestly. And I'm not dogging them. I mean, good for them for doing what they're doing, having a community. But I wasn't interested. I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't interested at all. It was, it, it just bothered me to see how they were basically just throwing something together with a superhero theme and calling it a cell block, um, calling it a prison server in general. I mean, don't get me wrong. Prison aspect was there. Mine, sell your shit, blah, blah, blah. But no, it was a slap in the face. I went to Blocked Up, I think is what it was called. It's probably the best one that I went to, and trust me, none of them, in my opinion, were very good. Um, Blocked Up was pretty much OP, um, and I have to agree with what someone had said about please bringing it back because they're tired of shitty OP prisons. I knew it was going to get old fast with OP because the end game comes too fast. Okay, there is people out there that OP Prison is for. They don't have patience. Um, they don't want to take, you know, a few days to rank up to the next level. They want to rank up fast. Um, personally, I don't like OP Prisons. I think it's a cheap way to play the game, to play the game type that it is. And the original way, the way we did it as the tech geeks at the time, was the best way. Um, so I wasn't really impressed with many prison servers at all. Blocked up may be the best one, but like I said, it was very overpowered. Um, one thing I noticed about prison servers is MCMMO. Um, th that has been added into almost every prison server out there right now, which I guess that's a pretty cool concept with the whole mining faster and efficiency and all that other stuff. That's pretty cool. Um, so getting back onto the point of people talking about it, like I said, guys, I see you, I see you constantly talking about it. Do not think I'm ignoring you. It's just, I'm not going to answer every single person the same answer. It's not right. So that's why this video is here. That this is one part of the reason why I wanted to make this video is some people question, does Jaws want to do this anymore? Yes, I do. I do want to do it, but realize something now, guys. I live in a house. This house has a mortgage. The electricity you see running is what I pay for. The internet that I'm broadcasting on or recording on and uploading to YouTube, I have to pay for, as in me and Shulu, because yes, Shulu's still here. She's still with me. I am a father of two kids. You know, me and Shulu, we do our best. We have a house now, a lot of bills, guys. Understand. Shulu works her full-time job, which she's trying to get a better one right now, but she works her job and I have a part-time job that I've been at for a while now. And we don't need Minecraft money to survive, so let's just kill all of that right off the jump. We don't need it, okay? We're getting by without it. But the point is, Yes, I would love to bring the original the original prison tech back with some twists, with some new features and stuff like that. Yes, absolutely. Um, but it takes money. I'm only working part-time, like I said, because of my kids. 
and Shulu's working full time, but all of our money goes to bills, and at the end, we don't have much left. Even to save up for a prison server at this time, it's not feasible. You have gas that you have to put in vehicles, etc., etc. I'm still a smoker, yes, I know, shame on me for smoking, but I still smoke about a pack a day, which runs me five something a day. Really need to quit. But the point is, I would love to do it. But I got to get the money to do it. Now, one of our old community members that we had in Tech Eats, MC Nation, had hit me up on Twitter and said, if you don't have the money to do it, did you ever consider asking the old community, the people who want it back, to donate in a Kickstarter? Why have you thought of doing a Kickstarter to bring it back? Trust me when I tell you guys, the thought has crossed my mind. But I'm the type of person I don't want to ask for handouts without giving you something in return. Um, with that being said, the thought has crossed my mind. I've thought about it so much. Um, that's pretty much it for that. You know, I've thought about it. Just haven't willed myself to wanting to do it. Um, that's that. I mean, I thought about what I could do to make it reasonable for people who want to donate. You can have a section where you just donate to donate. You could also um, donate and donate X amount of dollars for a prison donor rank like we had in Tech Geeks, uh, which all the names would be the same still. They, some ranks would be cheaper. I will say that now. Me and Shula have talked about that. Um, we were not looking to break the bank like Tech Geeks did. And I'm going to tell you right now, I had no control over the financial situation. And I mean that. I was on a leash. Uh, I had no control over Tech Geek's financial situations. I had none. So when it came to money, I, I had no part of it. Now with this new server, with this new gaming community, which I've already pondered some names. Um, haven't decided on one yet, but I'm down to three. Um, and I'm not going to say them right now, you know what I mean? But um, I pondered, and I've came down to three names right now that I'm deciding, and that will be the community's name. It won't be Tech Geeks, it won't be Geek Nation. I'll just tell you that now. We start fresh. <clears throat> but, you know, let me ask you guys, uh, let me ask you guys what you think. Do you think that asking doing a Kickstarter and asking for donations in return of prison donor ranks, if you donate X amount of dollars, that is the prison donor rank, you'll get this. And I've also thought about it to where if you donate, anyone who donates a prison donor rank, okay, anyone who donates a prison donor rank cost, price, so to speak, no matter what rank it is for prison, you will also get a Kickstarter kit a one-time Kickstarter kit with tools and, and other things that you get first time you ever walk into Prison Tech, the Jaws-owned Prison Tech from my gaming community when I do bring it back, if I do it this way with the Kickstarter. Um, so no matter what donation rank you are, if you pay $25 or if you pay $100, whatever, whatever it's going to be, um, you all get the same Kickstarter kit as an extra thank you for donating to help get the server up. Uh, so I pondered it. Trust me. Trust me when I tell you. I pondered all my options so far. But um, just haven't willed myself to do it. So like I said, I'm asking you guys, you guys, the community, the ones who really want to see it come back, um, would you be willing to cough up some money? Even if it's not, even if it's not a prison donor rank that you have to give, but even if it's $5. Will you do it? That's my question to you guys. Of course, if I do this, guys, if I bring the server back, um, you know, it's going to have to start over just like Tech Geek started. Uh, when Tech Geek started with Prison Tech, it was a simple, small server. Um, I think it held like 50 players. It's a, It was a simple, small server. Um, it would be a simple, small server, probably 100 player maximum at the beginning. Um, 
on a just a Minecraft hosted um, through through some a Minecraft host. It wouldn't be a dedicated right off the jump because uh, Tech Geeks didn't do it that way. And I'm not saying I'm doing it because Tech Geeks didn't do it that way. It's just you, you know this is starting all over. I understand it's the old prison tech. I understand it was popular at one time, but it's been gone for a while now. So no one knows if this is actually going to take off, if this is going to hit it, hit it off again. No one knows that. Um, but it's worth a try, you know. But my point is, um, you know, it'll be a small server. Um, probably about a 100-player limit, 75 to 100-player limit starting off until more funding comes in. And, and that's, what it, that's what it comes down to in the end. If I do this and we open this, it's up to us. It's for us, by us. That will be the motto, no matter what the name is for the community. That will be our motto. For us, by us. And I mean that. Because this will be for us, by us. Because you guys are going to be one of the biggest, if not the biggest reason why this community will work. And I'm not planning on just doing Minecraft. I want to roll into the Arma world. Arma world with servers like role play servers armor three life all that stuff takistan life i want to roll into the desolation mod for arma which is like the arma 2 um the original arma 2 um daisy mod that is out now exile mod i want to i want to have servers for a lot of different games for the community um rust i'm a big fan of rust i want to have a rust server you know what I'm saying? When it comes to Minecraft, I want to do prison, but that's not all I want to do. I literally have game modes that are different, written out, designed. I've architected them. I just need the person to be dedicated and develop these games, and I feel like they would be so much fun to play with the community. That's the problem, though. I don't have the skills to code like that. So I need the people, the person, the coders to come forth, work with me, and design these game modes. I had, I've talked about it before, and I'll say it again. I have a game mode that I've completely designed on paper, well, on a computer screen, called RDMC, Red Dead Minecraft. A lot like Grand Theft Auto Minecraft, but Wild West, with a leveling up system, believe it or not. One of our community members who plays at Arkham now was talking to one of the bigger people at Arkham. And they had emailed me about Red Dead Minecraft because I have the map already built. It was built by Blockworks. I have the whole map. And I have the game all written out and what it needs. And they had asked me if I was interested in selling it to them. And I'm not looking for a one-night stand is what I told him. I'm looking for value, like monetary value. This is my creation. I don't want to just sell it. And you guys make everything off of it. It's only fair. That sounds greedy, maybe. But I'm not being greedy. I'm being fair. They would definitely make more than I would. I would take a percentage of it. But... Um, I'm guessing that they didn't want that because I never got a response back. So I want to create it for my gaming community so we can have fun. I want to advertise it so we can bring in more members to our community. All of that good stuff. Um, so that's that. You know, Should I make a Kickstarter to try to get this started? What do you guys think? Um, so that's that part. Now we come to the next part where I'm going to name drop someone. I've been quiet about this for many months. I didn't say a word. Um, the truth is, is I would have had my community already up and running with Prison Tech, with the Prison Tech server, if it wasn't for one person. When Tech Geeks was around, when we started getting really popular, we had came in contact with an agent for what was once known as, um, you know, I don't even remember the name now, but it had, it was Sky Does Minecraft's YouTube team. It was 
Minecraft Universe, it was Jerome, it was Fire Rocker Studios, Caveman Films, you name it. Um, you know, Team Crafted. There you go, Team Crafted. Bayesian, Canadian, all of them, right? Some of the smaller guys that were with them as well. Well, ooh, that hurt. But um, as it comes down to, this was their agent, and this is the person who got us in contact with the Almighty Sunday, who helped Prison Tech really take off. Um, he was their agent for a long time, and then he started losing them guys, and they kind of just started doing their own thing because money is power and power is greed. And a lot of the guys got greedy, and they didn't want a middleman anymore. They wanted to cut out the middleman and do business for themselves. So with that being said, um, this guy worked a business relationship with us and became our agent. And he was going to other YouTubers to get us advertisement. Well, long story short, it didn't work out real well. But Nick was putting all his faith, Nick, a.k.a. Terwathian, a.k.a. the owner of Tech Geeks or Geek Nation. But Nick put all his faith in this guy to do it. Well, when it was coming near the end of the Tech Geeks Geek Nation life cycle, Nick had paid this guy $2,000 for advertisement for two YouTubers to do video. Or videos. I think they were doing like two a piece. $500 a video. Um, when it came down to it, Nick paid him. He gladly took the money real fast. But Nick actually decided to close the doors about a week and a half later. We didn't get to see the video, or two weeks later. We didn't get to see the videos yet. It took him how long? I, it, it took him forever to even tell us why we weren't seeing any videos yet. They were supposed to be out within days after we paid it. And we didn't see anything. Supposedly, the two people he wanted to do it backed out. They agreed to it, but then they backed out. Trust me, guys, if you run a server in Minecraft, if you're looking to do YouTube advertising, get ready for bullshit because a lot of them act like prima donnas. Just being real with you. So now he's looking for two more guys, he said. Supposedly he found them, but they couldn't record until like a week later. By that time, Nick had enough. He said, I'm tired of throwing money into something that's dead or dying or almost completely dead. And he decided to close shop. He decided not to pay the bill anymore. And then about five days later, the servers were down. It was over. Um, so with that being said, when everything was down, Nick had contacted me and said, Jaws, get a hold of this guy and tell him that we want the money back. He said, as your final payment, Get the money and keep it for yourself. Pay your bills. We're talking $2,000 here. It's not chump change to someone like you or me. So I contact this guy and I say, all right, listen, it's done. Tech Geeks is over. Geek Nation's over. It was a good run. I was so sad about it, but what is it is what it is. I said, Nick said, being via our contract, that if we didn't get the videos made, we can have we have the right to ask for the money. Not one video was made, we had every right to ask for the money back. I told him, I said, Nick said to give it to me, it's my final payment. He said, okay man, yeah, I'll get it to you in a few days. I said, all right. Oh no, actually the first thing he said was, all right, well, let me get a hold of these guys because I already paid these two guys and I got to get it back from them. Well, a week went by and I got back with them again and I said, all right, dude, what's going on with these guys? I don't know. One's on vacation. The other one's at a Minecraft event, this and that. I, I can't bother them right now. Okay, so four days go by. I contact them again. I said, okay, now get a hold of these guys and tell them to send you this money. I want it. I need this. This $2,000, guys, was going towards reopening Prison Tech, the original, 
and getting a server up and starting my community. That's what it was going towards. I was very adamant on... I, I really wanted this money to get started right away because the community we still had left, I didn't want them to have to just wander off into somewhere else. Well, unfortunately, that's what's had to happen because this guy didn't want to pay me the money. Um, so I asked him the one day after, you know, numerous times of asking him, what's these guys doing? Why ain't they giving me back the money? I asked him who these YouTubers were. He wouldn't tell me. And the reason why now I know is because he didn't have anybody lined up. He took the money for himself because he was struggling because he screwed over how many different YouTubers that he worked with that, that advertised for us as well to where no one wanted him anymore. He was a leech, basically. And the person I'm talking about that I've talked about in videos for Prison Tech for Tech Geeks is Douglas. Doug, the agent for Team Crafted at one time, he screwed me. And I mean it. He took the money for himself and ran. Telling me after so long that he was in the same situation I am where he's barely getting by paying his bills etc which goes to show you he took the money for himself now some people could say how do you know how do you know I still haven't seen it I still haven't seen it we even wrote up a contract an agreement actually that he was supposed to pay me on December 1st of no what was it wasn't December. It was October 1st of last year, now. And he had a three day grace period to have the payment in if he didn't pay it on the first. First came by, I never seen a, di a damn dime. Fourth came by, still didn't see it. Then he fell off the face of the earth, couldn't hear from him. Until I threatened to go to Keemstar, who, who is the host of Drama Alert on YouTube, and expose him. Then he spoke up, and he said, oh, man, I'll get it to you next month, I promise. I gave him one final chance, and I never seen it. And I gave up after that. I gave up. There was no sense at all in trying to get this money back. He wasn't going to do it. He can promise me the world, but this damn liar, this crook, wasn't going to give me the money back. And that bothers me because, you know, I was using the money to bring the server back. And that's why you see no server to this day. I don't have the money to bring it back now. And I'm sorry for that, guys. And the only way I can do this is with your help. If I do decide, decide to do a Kickstarter, I will surely make another video asking you guys for assistance understand and believe that this is not going to be easy for me to ask you guys for help but if you want it and you want it bad enough as bad as I do you'll do it and if you can't do it it's understandable I'm not telling anybody that they have to that's just that's stupid but that's the story that is honestly the honest to God reason why prison tech the original that is owned by me to build everything is mine no one else's that's why it's not up right now and it sucks but that's the reason so do you guys out there asking um, about it on why why it isn't back yet if I am bringing it back yet now you know right now I can't and the only way I could is if I asked for your help you know this business that they call Minecraft is very cutthroat and if any of you out there who have owned a server that had any relevance 
you you would see what you would see what I'm talking about. It's uh, it's a nasty business uh, from that, a game, a game that turned into a business for many people. That brought a lot of success to me, for sure. It's so cutthroat and evil. But, you know, of course I want to do advertising. Of course I'd love to make money off of it to a certain extent. But that's not the main focus anymore. It's to bring the community back for us, by us. You want to change the landscape with this game because this game has a nasty, leaves a nasty taste in a lot of people's mouths. Oh, it's just about money. It's a money pit. You're right. It is. But it could be fun again if you're around the right people. And if I decide for your, if I decide to ask you guys for help, let's bring back what once was a phenomenal game with a phenomenal community that a lot of people are very proud to be a part of. And I mean that. Anyways, guys, thanks for listening to my story. I know it took forever, but I had to let it out there. It's a shame what Douglas did in the way he just screwed me. But I'm surviving. I'm surviving, guys. And I'm glad you all are as well. This is your boy Jaws. Thanks again for watching. And in the end, to every single one of you, God bless, don't stress, and be sure to always strive to do your very damn best. I know I am. Are you? Peace out, guys. Much love.